All right, here's a scenario that sometimes happens. You cut out your project and you get these little whoop-de-whoop-de-woos. Some are bigger, some are little. Decision is, should you file or try to recut or throw it in the garbage and ask for another one? As long as you are not through your line, you do not throw it in the garbage. Even if you are slightly through your line, show it to Mr. Reinwald and he'll decide what's the best route. Now these big ones are not worth oh, filing. It's a lot quicker to carefully take a bandsaw and recut them. Now the best way to do this is you put it in the bandsaw and you will need a slight bit of pressure pushing to the blade just to get started. And then you'll back off on your pressure and go ahead and make your cut through there. Okay. Keep your fingers out of the path, out of the way. I'm holding it on the back. Okay, I lined up, put just a little bit of side pressure. Just enough to get it to start cutting. Yeah, I'm cutting, I can let off on all side pressure. Alright, let's do it again. A little bit of side pressure. i started, now I can let off on all side pressure and just guide my teeth through. Alright, next little piece is right here. That, I'll do the same thing coming in from the other, other side. Light bit of pressure to get started. When started, now I can back off the side pressure. Make my cut. We're a lot cleaner. We stayed outside our line. We're ready to file. All right, we're over at the bench to file. Now we want to work on getting this handle smoothed up. I like to take a pencil and draw some marks so I can tell where I'm hitting and where I'm not. Obviously I want to start hitting my high spots and working those down. There are several different ways to do it. You can put your file on and file right on your high spots, which is a good way to do it. And then you want to start kind of going diagonally. If you use the round side of your file, you're just going to be creating more dips. Always use your flat side on the flats. Now you want to put it in the vise up higher to make sure you're not hitting the bench, not down flush, and you don't want to hit the vise. So you want it up higher, but not so high you're putting it on the very, very edge, putting that pressure there. So we're going to put it in, snug it up, and go ahead and hit the high spots a little bit. Okay, so you can see how the high spots, all the pencil marks are leaving. Okay, here's another route you can go, which is a good route. You can kind of go diagonally. Oop, slipped on me. A little bit tighter. You can go diagonally like that. See how we're hitting the high spots. Come over diagonally the other way. We're hitting the high spots. We're getting closer and closer to having this nice and smooth. Okay, the center lump is good.
Now you can take your finger, the way, good way to check to see how smooth it is. Well, you can look and see, but also take your fingers and run them up and down. That is nice and smooth. Run your finger up and down this. It's lumpy, lumpy, lumpy. Okay. So we need to do the same thing on this. Obviously, that is going to be too skinny for right here. So we are going to have to hang it over a little bit. I'm going to tip this up a bit. Now, if you are going to work clear out here, see how that whole thing flexes? That's not a very effective way to file, and you're taking a good chance of breaking your wood. So work down in closer. I'm going to do that same thing. I'm going to also put my leg against it to hold it to secure that. Again, I'm going to make sure I don't hit the metal. And I'm going to go diagonally. You see I'm hitting my high spot. to get it nice and clean. We're almost there. I'm going to move it just a little bit more so I don't hit. Make sure you are not beveling with your file. That you're keeping it nice and flat. That's all I'm going to show you for now. But you can see just that little bit how much cleaner that is right there. You can run your fingers. You can still see from the pencil there's some still some depressions, but just that five minutes of filing cleaned that up quite a bit. Some of these files are more aggressive than others, so you want to check, feel your file to feel how, feel how smooth it is.